Well, howdy, welcome to Freedom's video here down in Macklin Ford. I wanna show you a 2021 Ford Bronco Big Ben. Uh, this has the soft top with convertible, so uh, let's walk through it. Here we are with this Big Ben 2021 Bronco in Area 51 Blue. This is a spectacular color, very eye-catching, very pleasing. Love this, uh, very cool vehicle. Low mileage as well. It is a 21. We're just uh, just over the 11,000 kilometer mark. Give you a quick walk around on this. Now it is a soft top, so the obviously top is uh, removable, but also we'll switch over to convertible mode. As we are looking in the back here, there are uh, a latch just underneath here that you lift up. It unlocks. You can hear a lock there and push up there as well. The whole top will pop up and forward if you want to put something larger in there. Hard to do with uh, one hand. Drop that back down, locks into place. There is a little bit of storage underneath, but it's pretty small, as well as a jack and tool. The tire is mounted up on the back. Now, because of the way that uh, Ford has designed this really interesting system, these window panels on either side actually will unvelcro, and there's clips underneath. You can see those, hopefully you can see that in there. There's that clip right there. Those unclip, and the windows will actually slide out as well, and the back window will come out as well. So you can have the top on, but all the back windows off, or any portion thereof. Or, and I'll show you here in a quick second, there are two latches inside, just up under right there. That pulls down. And then on the passenger side, that pulls down. Give it a little pop. Now this whole thing just steps up and over. And there is our convertible Bronco. Let's all the light in, let's a fair bit of breeze in as well. Got to drive this the other day with the top back and lots of air. Uh, we've got a number of awesome features here. Obviously our normal handles. Uh, if you're, you know, stepping up into the vehicle, you get a little handle to assist. You know, one of those, oh my God handles, depending on who's driving, sometimes you need those. Uh, because the doors also come off, we've got a tool package in the glove box for you, all Bronco in, uh, emblazoned with the logos on everything. Uh, that'll help you take the doors off and put them back on. But because those come off, all of our mirror controls and our window controls are in the center console. And same thing for the back seat. Here's our back seat. The window controls are down here as well. We've got a couple extra plugs there. These seats, there's a little button on the back side here that folds down. And then you pull the handle up on top and that seat folds down. Not quite fully flat. Uh, compared to the back, but flat enough that if you're putting uh, luggage, storage, whatever else you need in there as well. And those will both fold down completely flat. Super easy to reset. Bang, bang, done. Here we are back in the driver's seat and we will just start this thing up. I have to close all my doors. Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful interior. I really, really like this dash. Oh, we don't need, the car knows that it's cold out, so I don't need the uh, heated seats, uh, but my AC also turned on here for us as well. So uh, we've got our main infotainment system, obviously our audio, phone, navigation, a number of different features and settings that we can go through to kind of individualize that and make that yours completely. I, I love this, the uh, badging here for the serial number with the VIN, where it was built, nice little plaque there, nice little touch, just a little bit uh, more rugged. We've got our GOAT modes, go over any terrain. As we twist this, we will actually get a number of different drive modes and options, off-road stuff as well. And then as those engage, you'll notice that my shift progress, that happens automatically, traction control comes off automatically, and we switch over to the off-road mode as well. As we switch back into a different mode, say sport. Oh, let's say sport, there we go. Four by four, shifts back to two-wheel drive, traction mode off, and it's gonna make our throttle response a little bit more, and it'll hold our gear longer through the RPM, uh, just a lower gear. 
So adjust the transmission, adjust the, the throttle response as well. Number of different things. We've got our lane control here, lane keep system. We can turn that on and off. Cruise control, volume control, uh, audio, radio, and then a couple different menu options that we can run through here as well. But also different options that we can run through here. So a couple different screens you can just kind of have it uh, as like quick uh, references. <clears throat> depending on what you want. And you can actually customize those and add those as well. Now this vehicle is equipped with the uh, trail assist system as well. So this, when this is activated in four, <clears throat> four by four mode, excuse me, will actually lock one of the wheels, depending on which way you turn to help assist with a tighter turning radius as well. Lots of little uh, extras here. Just, you know, the attention to detail is really, really nice. I love the Bronco logo. You've got the kicking horse there as well. All sorts of different things on top of that. Uh, if you'd like more information on this vehicle, though, feel free to give me a call back here. You can reach me on my cell, 403-992-0630. This is... Ooh, wow, that was really loud. This is Freedom at Macklin Ford. Come on down and see us here at Calgary's most likable Ford store. You know what? Otherwise, do me a favor. Hit the like, maybe hit subscribe. Help me out with the channel. If you have any questions... I'm here to talk to you at any point. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.